guys welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me so today's video is actually going to be a product review video um, this is going to be my first video since moving into my new place here in Minnesota um, and I've had this product for a little while now and I'm finally able to sit down and talk to you guys about it um, I want to review the balm cosmetic how about them apples blush and cheek palette so I purchased this palette online from beautyspin.com um, I believe it retails for like $32 and um, I was able to save a little bit of money and I purchased it for about $25 maybe. Um, I will link Beauty Spin down below for you guys to check out their channel. Um, they also have a Beauty Spin UK for all of my international viewers out there as well. If you're interested, I will link that below as well. So this palette um, has six cheek and lip stains. Um, it is a cream palette. So it comes in this really cute packaging. Like I love the balm and all their packaging. It's super cute. It's almost like a little book. So you just want to like slide it out. And this is the front. And then it opens up this way. It has a nice size mirror here. And so these are the six colors. Um, you have cider right here. And then you have cobbler. This is pie. This is crisp right here. You have candy and then you have caramel which this is by far my favorite color of this whole palette it looks perfect perfect on my cheeks so anybody any woman of color or any darker skin tone this caramel color looks really really good um so you have six like matte shades and then the only shimmer shade is going to be this color crisp right here so that one gives you a little bit of shimmer um, I really like this. I didn't know how I was going to like using like a cream blush. I haven't used these on my lips, so I can't tell you about how long wearing they are, but I know as far as wearing them as a blush, they do last all day. Um, they're very easy to apply, and I like to use either my finger and go in like a dabbing motion, and then go back in with my e.l.f. stippling brush and just kind of work it out and make it more even. Um, I love the texture, and like I said, caramel and probably cobbler. I would I use like to use those two together and it makes like the perfect rosy color for my complexion. Um, I'm going to zoom in on these and I'm also going to give you guys some swatches so you can see exactly what they look like. I want to zoom in and give you guys a closer look. Um, as you can see each one of the little palettes um, is kind of in an apple shape almost and I'm sure you guys can also see the country men that they have here along the sides. I think th this just kind of goes along with the balm and how they like to do their packaging and there's um, like a pinup girl on the front of the packaging as well. So you have cider here, cobbler, crisp, pie, candy down here and then caramel. So as you can see crisp is the only one that offers like a shimmer color and all the rest are matte. So with these being um, a cream blush, I was a little bit concerned as far as how the texture would go and how blendable it was. But once you actually like feel the texture and actually are able to put it on your skin and it's very, very pigmented. I'm going to zoom in and show you guys swatches in a little bit. Um, you can actually blend it in really, really well. And like I said, I like to use my finger and then go back in with my e.l.f. stippling brush. Um, and then it just pulls the look together. It's Once it gets on your skin, like it doesn't turn sticky. It's really easy to blend, um, so you can actually just put it on. You don't have to feel like you have to work super fast. Um, it's not like a cream to powder kind of texture. It is more of a cream, but it is very blendable. Um, and it's really, really pigmented, so I would start with a light hand and then slowly build up if you feel like you need more coverage. So I don't have on any blush right now. I'm actually going to put on a little bit for you guys just so you can see. Um, once again, I like to use my e.l.f. stippling brush here, um, and I like to use a mix between caramel and cobbler up here. So I just like to take my brush and just kind of dab it in very gently. And then I'll go in, starting with a very light hand because it is super pigmented. And you don't wanna ride the bus like this Never know who to trust like this You don't wanna be stuck up on that station Stuck up on that station Oh, I know Okay guys, so I just put 
a little light touch on both of my cheeks and I feel like it looks so beautiful like it's so blendable and it just looks so natural it just gives you like that light rosy cheek color that everybody likes um so yeah you can just kind of go in just kind of soften it up a little bit even if you want it to just kind of run your fingers along there but yeah definitely um use an elf stippling brush if you guys want to check this palette out or even if you do have it i'm not sure what other brushes would work well but i know that i really do like the stippling brush because it's very light touch on your skin um with this being cream of course it does leave like the little stipple marks inside but that's really not that big of a deal um so yeah i just wanted to talk to you guys about this palette i'm going to have some swatches here toward the end of the video so you guys can see what all the colors look like on my skin tone as well um definitely check this palette out you guys if you're interested I know I got it from Beauty Spin, so I'm going to leave those links down below for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.